Dear Diary, there is a man in my life. Is there? There is a man in my 11-year-old life, and I love him, and I think he loves me. But I'm trying not to come on too strong. <laughs> I'm not laughing at the, at the coming on too strong part. I'm laughing at the fact that I spelled two with one O. Hey fam, this is possibly the most cherished possession I have from my childhood. My beloved first diary. And I love him and I think he loves me, but I'm trying not to come on too strong because that was what happened last year in the fourth grade. But this time I'll be very careful. I'll be very careful what, like I won't get pregnant. No, Stacy, you were telling yourself, you were saying you had boundaries then that you don't have now. You were saying, I'm be careful with my heart. I'm not gonna let the same thing happen to me this year that happened in fourth grade last year. In fourth grade, I was in love with someone who was in my graduating class in high school who's no longer with us. And I really had a crush on him. And we were friends until he found out I had a crush on him. One minute he was turning around his desk, I used to sit behind him in fourth grade and we were talking. Ah, that's when I used to like black boys. This is why I crossed over. I got rejected by all the little black boys up until sixth grade. And by seventh grade, got my eye fixed, got it straightened out. And I was like, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. talk to the eye. Quincy, 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 stop it. Stop, stop it. Quincy, Quincy, will you scratch? Ooh, this Quincy, all right. Oh, let me finish that story. So he turned around, blah, 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 fourth grade stuff, blah, 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 blah. Ah, <laughs> and I remember he had a silver tooth, too. That was weird. Fourth grade. Anyway, Valentine's Day came, and I put a Valentine in his bag, and somebody else read it. I, I don't know what I wrote on it, but clearly I was like, oh, I like you. And people were like, ha, 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 ha. Hey, Alicia, I like you. Ha, ha, you like Alicia, girl. He was like, I don't like that girl. <laughs> I was like, okay, so we're never going to kiss, I see. All right. So we were having candy that day, Valentine's candy on a table. That's why he had a silver tooth. And uh, all the, the candy were in bags with our names on it. So I picked a piece of candy out of his bag and I went, ah! I put it back in his bag and I just, I watched him eat it. Just like, mm, just like we kiss. <laughs> you kissed me. <laughs> you don't even know it. <laughs> I'm gonna try at least to get like mm, three solid memory. Mm, uh, just keep talking, Stacey, okay? I don't even know what I'm running on right now. I'm running on reliving the childhood. Oh, who are you looking at, Stacey? You looking over there? I'm standing over here on your lazy eye. Oh. Why am Why am I gaslighting myself right now? It is Saturday, October 18th, 19th. None of your business. This would be the day after my 11th birthday. Dear Diary, today we went to the groceries store and the general store. I bought some bubble gum. It is very boring today and also raining. So that is all I have to say. Until next time. <laughs> uh, Tuesday, October 20th, 19. Ooh. Dear Diary, today in school it was okay. But in gym, I had a ball. The fifth grade watched the sixth grade play on the mind tramp. That should say mini, but it's spelled M-I-N-E. On the mini tramp and the big tramp. <laughs> Sounds like we're like jumping on some like fat hookers or something. <laughs> I'm gonna jump on the mini tramp and you jump on that big tramp. It was fun. I was never a girl's girl. Like I never had girlfriends. I didn't wear lip gloss. And you know, the only one time that a girl shared lip gloss with me was in third grade. Nikita, I always remember Nikita Thompson for this. And I told her this, so I don't mind saying her. Nikita, I love you for this. At the time, I didn't have friends. I sat directly behind Nikita in class in third grade and she had you guys remember the old-fashioned lip gloss with the roller ball at the top and i think it was chocolate or something or coke i believe it was chocolate i remember that i remember the scent and so at the time you know little girls would like pass around the lip gloss giving each other herpes and stuff and nobody ever tried to give me herpes i was like really hurt like why why isn't anybody trying to give me lip herpes because i had lazy eye whatever i was i was so unaccustomed to being offered things or shared with unless I explicitly asked and even then sometimes it's like no buy your own chips we poor yeah I'm on free lunch thank you we were a recess and I was so unaccustomed to being offered you know to, to being shown kindness from other children 
that I felt I had to sneak around. This is my first memory of feeling like I needed to sneak something because it's like, well, she, she already the first time. She won't mind if I go in her purse and put some more room. So I went back into the classroom while everybody else was at recess. Where are our teachers during this time, by the way? Why weren't our teachers, like, why didn't they notice that one of the eight-year-olds had wandered off this big freaking playground with this five acres of yard? I just, I went back into the classroom. Nobody, nobody noticed. I don't even think I got permission. I don't remember getting permission. I could have, but I don't think I did because I'm sneaky like that. I go back into the classroom. I go in her purse because what she had shared with me had already worn off. So I remember going in her little purse. She had a purse. I didn't have a purse. I never, I never carried a purse when I was a little kid. I was a tomboy. All my clothes looked like I was about to like go compete in the, in the decathlon or something. I, I used to wear shorts and tops very similar to the ones that the athlete formerly known as Bruce Jenner used to wear on his Wheaties box. That might have been my doing. I don't know. That, that might have been. I don't think so. But, uh, you know, I do remember really enjoying wearing those running, you know, those old school running shorts, you know, that had like the white trim. They looked like the old school, like NBA shorts, the booty shorts. And they had the white trim around the edges. I had a green pair of those and a terry cloth pair. I really enjoyed it. I love those because in my mind, I was like real slim and, you know, an athlete. And I'd always look at the ladies in the Virginia Slims ads in the magazines. Not that I wanted to smoke. I did not equate, oh, I can look like this white lady if I just smoke a Virginia Slim. It was more of the aspirational, carefree attitude. Like, ha, 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 ha I have a boyfriend. Oh, I live in Manhattan. <laughs> and you don't. <laughs> that was the part I connected to. And they always just looked so happy. Like, ah. You know, they catch them in that pose. You know, they're smoking their cigarette in the, the fan or whatever. Or they're throwing their hair back. And it's like. Yeah, I really liked those Virginia Slim ads. I remember in a magazine, there was a Virginia Slims ad. The Virginia Slims model was wearing the exact same outfit that I wore to field day in fifth grade. She was wearing the green shorts and she was wearing like a Terry sleeveless top. I was so excited to see this. I'm like, I have this outfit. Oh my gosh, I'm sophisticated. And she had like a sun visor. Some of those old school sun visors that had like the colored plastic visor part you know, the sun would hit it and it would like reflect the color of the visor onto your skin, red or green. So she was wearing like one of those green ones, right? That matched her shorts. Okay, it's a cigarette ad. She's in a pose. Oops, whoa. She, she's, she's wearing sneakers. She wears like Nikes or something. They made like, I don't know. They look like the old school Nike running shoes, right? Oh dear, I was not in the plan tonight. She's like squatted down like this. She's got a cigarette in her hand. I think it's in his hand. I can't remember. Whatever. Uh, this might be a faulty memory. She's, ha 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 ha. I'm Virginia Slim. Oh, I just ran a 50 yard dash at field day. I just went jogging in Central Park. Oh, 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 yes. Oh, and the sun is coming through my green visor and it's reflecting on my alabaster skin. Just so healthy because I just jogged. I'm wearing my green track shorts and smoking my Virginia Slim. <laughs> oh, I am entertaining no one but myself at the moment. Oh, good grief. Oh, oh, oh. Here we go. Next entry. Dear Diary. The hearts and brains of ADHD's New Black are my Patreon supporters. Thank you. 